Common waterweed, Agaria densa. This plant is not native to Florida. The exotic Agaria is also known as Brazilian Elodea. However, Agaria is Agaria, not Elodea, which is another plant altogether. This submersed plant is rooted, but pieces of it may be found drifting in the water. Agaria occurs in streams, ponds, and lakes of Florida. The slender stems of Agaria are usually a foot or two long, but can be much longer. The small leaves are strap-shaped, about an inch long and one quarter inch wide. The leaf margins have very fine saw teeth that require a magnifying lens to see. Leaves occur in whorls of three to six around the stem. The whorls grow from regularly spaced nodes which become more profuse toward the tip of the stem. Agaria flowers are on short stalks about an inch above the water. They have three white petals and can be up to three quarters of an inch across. Agaria can be easily confused with another exotic submersed plant in Florida, Hydrilla, segment number 13 of this videotape. The easiest way to distinguish between these two is by flower size and the underside midrib of the leaf. Hydrilla's female flowers are white and very small. They grow to the surface of the water on long, very thin flower stalks. Agaria's white flowers, however, are much larger and more conspicuous. They can be up to three quarters of an inch across. The leaves of Hydrilla have one or more teeth on the underside midribs. Agaria, on the other hand, never has teeth on the underside midrib. Hydrilla produces tubers and turions. Agaria does not. Remember, the exotic Agaria has a long stem with strap-shaped leaves. Leaves are in whorls of three to six. They have finely serrated margins. Agaria flowers are white and up to three quarters of an inch wide. 